What's up, y'all? It's your boy Wise Got you. 15, man. And we at the range again. We're giving y'all that video y'all been waiting on for so long. And I've been waiting for too. So, we're going to get this thing all right today. We're going to do my zeroing in on my LPVO for my AR 15. I just got a new compensator for that. And I'm going to show that too a little bit later. And I got the big boy scope out today. So, I'm going to have to calibrate that one too and zero it. So, y'all stay tuned. It's your boy Wise Got 15. Appreciate y'all for coming by. Start pistols, man. You know I got to always get my pistols in there. Get up. Got my Stoker STR 9C out here. Couple mags there. And I got my Gen, Gen 5 MOS. Got a couple mags there. With the Ramjet out. Got some steel going on this evening, so we finna do a little steel hitting, man. Y'all wanna let y'all know what y'all think, man. We're gonna start out with the Stoker STR9C with iron sights. Let's see how if I still got it, man. I've been dealing with these red dots for too long, man. Let's see if I still got it.
right now, we just got through zero and then my 308 air precision. So next up, we're gonna do my uh, Andro Corpse Industries 556. Couldn't shoot my 556 that I bought today because full metal jacket and uh, they don't want full metal jacket ammo. So uh, I had to go buy some 223 and uh, I'm gonna use that for right now. So next time I come back and hopefully I won't have to do too much extra as far as um, zero on the sights. So y'all hold tight and we'll be right back.
What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Wise Guy 2015, and we are back again, man. We're gonna do this uh, little bonus footage, you know what I'm saying, for the video today. That uh, I finally got my my AR-15 uh, zeroed in, and I got my AR-10 zeroed in with a new scope, CV Life Scope. I'm gonna do a review on all that this evening with the video and the drop, and uh, the little bonus that I have uh, my school. The lovely people at Sonoran Desert Institute have sent me a package. And uh, we're gonna open this up and see what we got here, man. Some little stuff, you know what I'm saying, from school that, you know, let's see what we got. Okay. Got a little package. Some patches in that thing, you know what I'm saying? Let me get this back up here so y'all can see that. That's why, yeah. <laughs> we got the Sonoran Desert Institute graduate package. It comes with a custom embroidered PVC patch. So this will be going on. This will be going on the old bag, you know what I'm saying? The old rucksack, bug out bag, whatever you want to call it. Oh yeah, that's nice. Lauren Death Institute graduate. We got that. We got a couple more items. We got the Sonoran Desert Institute graduate lapel pin. Got the lapel pin, you know what I'm saying? So I step out, you know what I'm saying? I can throw this on. Y'all can see that real good or not, but Sonoran Desert. Sonoran Desert graduate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, buddy. That's me. That's me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, uh, see what else we got here. This is a uh, Sonoran Desert. It's like look like a coin, a graduation coin. It says Sonoran Desert Institute, SDI.edu. Sight in your future, graduate. And on the other side, it has School of Firearm Technology, SDI. So this is my SDI package, my graduation package I got, man. I know y'all proud of your boy, you know what I'm saying? I'm proud of me, so y'all ain't got to be. I'm proud of me, but got the SDI coin, SDI lapel pin. It'll be going on my, most likely, it's gonna be going on my, my bug out bag with the rest of my pins. And this is probably be going on my bug out, one of my bug out bags, I got more than one. But it's a Northern Desert Institute graduate, baby. Let's go. It's your boy Wise Guy 2015. Now let's get back to the video. Oh, I almost forgot too, man. Y'all gonna let me forget. I still had some more items in the box. I'm so excited. You know what I'm saying? I had to forgive you, boy, for being so excited, you know. But we got a shirt as well. Institute graduate. And it also comes with some paperwork here about graduation. It says, Dear graduate, we are pleased that you have RSVP to attend the class of 2023 virtual graduation ceremony. This event is set to take place on Saturday, April 6th. So y'all keep that in mind, man. Saturday, April 6th, 2024 at 11 p.m. Arizona time. So that'll be like 9 central time, depending on what time zone y'all in. Uh, it says, please check your local time to ensure that you do not miss this event. The graduation celebration package, which contains a few commemorative items, is enclosed. We hope these will help you get into a celebratory spirit 
You can also wear your SDI graduate t-shirt for the event. You will receive a personal access link directly from Zoom via email. Even when the event time arrives, please click the link in the email and graduate only Zoom webinar. As the event approaches, also you receive email reminders. Uh, please do not share your access information. And uh, the ceremony will be webinar format, meaning attendees will be off video and audio, but we'll be able to chat online with each other. And uh, yeah, sincerely, Jared McNeely, Chief Academic Officer from Sonoran Desert Institute, about 10 p.m. Arizona. So, your boy is all official. It's official like a referee with a whistle. It's about to go down, baby. Graduation coming up. I can't wait to see y'all there, man. I'm gonna post the links in my um, my YouTube channel, on my Facebook channel, Facebook page, uh, when the uh, graduation is gonna be going down. The virtual graduation is gonna be April 6th. So anybody that's willing or, uh, you know, just wanna stop by and check in and see boy graduate, y'all don't need to come do that, man. You can go to uh, Wise Guy 2015 to find the link or Sonora Desert Institute's so, uh, YouTube page. Peace. Now, let's get back to the video. All right, man, we back. We had some technical difficulties, but we are back. And um, just a little review on the uh, CV Life uh, 6 to 25 by 50 uh, scope. It worked out pretty good. It didn't take very long at all to, uh, to sight in. I got a zero pretty fast, you know what I'm saying? I only had 100 rounds with me today. So, man, I got, I was zeroed in by the first man. So it was real good to hit zero the whole day. You know what I'm saying, throughout the day. And that was pretty good for a $60, you know, Amazon scope, you know what I'm saying? Especially on the AR-10, that's gonna put some punishment down on that scope. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? So it, it, everything held up pretty good. You know, of course, you know, during my school time, I, uh, you know what I'm saying? I lapped the rings and all that stuff. That basically, when you put compound on the inside of the uh, scope rings and, you know what I'm saying, you make them nice and smooth so the scope fits properly. It won't have no bends and flexes in it because that'll distort the image. But that's a whole nother video. And the um, only thing I didn't like about it was the fact that, oh, before I get to that, it also has the red and green illuminated you know what I'm saying, reticle on the inside. So uh, that was pretty dope. The green showed up a little bit better than the red during the day, maybe, you know what I'm saying? The red will show up better at night. You know what I'm saying, I haven't shot it at night yet, but uh, that was pretty dope too, having that, uh, you know what I'm saying, illuminated reticle. And uh, you know, uh, I'm about to, uh, as y'all seen from the video, you know what I'm saying, uh, I didn't, couldn't get no really good footage of it because I was by myself trying to film, shoot, and everything, propping the camera up and all this different stuff. So hopefully I'm gonna give you a cameraman soon. Anybody in the Fort Worth area, man, trying to be a good cameraman, man, come holler at your boy Wild Guy 2015, man. Just hit me up in the comments and we can figure something out, man. But um, only thing I didn't like about it was the um, where you adjust the windage and the elevation. It don't have a click. It just turns. It just it's just a it's just like a basically a screw. It don't have no click to it, no audible click, no it, you can't lock it into place. Like some of the other ones you have to pop them out and then push them back in to lock them and unlock them. Uh, but it had covers over them. You know, they were kind of cheap looking, I ain't gonna lie, but you know what I'm saying, that's what you get, you know what I'm saying, when you're dealing with Amazon. But uh it was a budget bill to begin with, so uh, you know, I didn't spend a lot of money. Uh but you know, other than that, you know, it held zero. It did what it's supposed to do, you know what I'm saying? I got on point, you know what I'm saying, pretty quick. Like I said, within, would have been about the first 20 shots. I was shooting five shot groups. The first 20 shots, 15, 20 shots, it was sighted. Because it was pretty, it was pretty decent from the beginning. I, it was a lot, it was a lot more accurate than I thought it would be just coming straight out the box. But you know, sometimes you get lucky, so. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for my Air Precision AR-10 with the CV Life. 6 to 25 by 50 scope on it. And uh, it turned out pretty good. And I think it was worth the money. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how long it's gonna last. I'm gonna take it back to the range a couple more times. But yeah, I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking it should hold up pretty decent. You know what I'm saying? I hope so anyway. But like I said, if it don't, it didn't cost me like 60 bucks. 
And uh, as for the Andro Core, ACI 15, 16 inch, the new rifle. Yeah, uh, this is my first time ever taking it out, never shot it before. And uh, as y'all can see by the video, I had full metal jacket 5.56 five, rounds. They don't allow full metal jacket rounds at the range that I went to. So um, I ended up having to go buy some 223. So I bought a 223. Everything was running good. I had a couple um, failure to ejects. I don't know, um, you know, I had, a, I had a marks on the primer. I don't know if it was light primer strikes or it was like a failure to, to, to you know, fully uh, seat into the chamber or what because, you know, the soft tips. But I, I saw that when I started looking at them, I saw the tips were being, was being damaged. So they was, they was being rounded off and getting bumped somewhere. So it maybe it was just the, the buffer spring was slamming them in too hard after I, because I wasn't, I only, only pulled the charging handle at the first beginning. I just dropped the bolt, you know what I'm saying, after that, whenever it locked back. So that could have been the issue. Or maybe I should have just undone, uh, you know, just let it slide with my hand. Maybe, I don't know. But uh, like I said, I'm gonna try it out with some more ammo, but this was like some reloads that I bought by the pound from the uh, shooting range. Shout out Alpine Shooting Range in Fort Worth, Texas. I need to go check the boys out. They're good people out there. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so I had that happen a couple times, you know, like primer strikes. Uh, but other than that, I didn't have no issues out of, you know, no recoil at all, you know what I'm saying? I got the, the, the mag pull stock on there, got the uh, foregrip, you know, got the compensated, uh, that's another thing I want to talk about too, the compensated uh, muzzle brake that I put on there too. But um, uh, the West, what was it, the West Hunter LPVO that I had on there, uh, 12 time, you know, it was a, uh, it was a little bit more harder to zero in than it was the bigger scope because uh, I was zeroing it in at 50 yards. You know, I was just trying to, you know, get some of that, uh, how can I put it? Uh, you know, a little, little little long range out of it, you know what I'm saying, just in case, you know what I'm saying, you never know what the situation might be, you never know what you might get yourself into, but, uh, so, uh, you know, I just did it at 50, it was a long day, I've been at the range all day, spent a lot of money on ammo, so you know how that goes, just trying to get out of there before I do too much damage, but, uh, yeah, man, it, uh, I finally got it zeroed in, you know, on my last mag, I only had a hundred, well, I only had, uh, I'll say about, 60, 60 rounds of 223, and I had a box of 200, 556 that I couldn't shoot. So, you know, I would have been able to get it tuned in. I don't, I don't got it exactly like I want to, but you know, I'm hitting a little low left. Anybody know what I can do to fix that? Just let me know. Y'all hit me up in the comments and let me know what I can do to fix that low left. So, uh, I even use my laser sight. I got a laser boy sight. It's around here somewhere. But I used it, lined everything up, and you know, it's still just quite off. I don't know whether it's me, it's probably me for the most part. But uh, everything out of the out of the, the CV life, man, out of on a scale of one to ten, man, I give it a good a good sell. Good seven and a half, man. Just because of the price. It's so cheap, it's hard to, you know what I'm saying, the way it performed the first go round. Like I said, I only put a hundred rounds through it. So it, it held zero the whole time. So until it messes up, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a seven. And um, next we will talk about the, the West Hunter, you know what I'm saying, and the AI, the ACI um, 15, 16, AR-15 um, essential from uh, Andro Corpse Industries. Y'all need to go check them out, man. They, they good people, man. The, the rifle held up pretty good. Like I said, I had a couple hiccups, you know what I'm saying, failed to the ejects, <laughs> failure to fire. So I didn't know, it was for the most part, I think it was the rounds, hopefully. But like I said, I'm gonna run it with the full metal jackets and see how I like that. Cause some guns are real finicky about the ammo you can use, you know what I'm saying? You have those lead tips and then you got hollow tips and you got, you know what I'm saying, full metal jackets. So you know what I'm saying? Some guns like other ammo better than others. But uh, on a scale of one to 10, man, for the price, I only pay like 500 bucks, like 450, $500. It's kind of on sale right before Christmas. And um, yeah, man, this shit real good. I like it, I like it. Nice smooth trigger. You know what I'm saying? They got that much recoil on it. Maybe that's because of the muzzle brake. I don't know. And then, uh, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I didn't see a lot of a lot of flames like I expected. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times you had a muzzle brake on there. I took the flash hot off. So a lot of times you put that muzzle brake on there, you get a lot of fire. But you know what I'm saying? I wasn't really lighting it up like that. So 
you know, um, they worked out pretty good. On a scale of one to 10, I get the Andro Corpse Industries uh, AR-15, the Essential a ACI-16. Uh, I had to give it. Like I said, I have to give it a six, cause like I said, I didn't really get a chance to get down off of it there like I wanted to, man. So I just, I just only had a limited amount of rounds, to, you know, and I can't really pop them off and you know, you know, run drills or something like that, like I really want to at the range. So uh, until we get us another spot, I got a friend of mine that we y'all might be beating here soon, man. It's got a lot of property out there in the country, man. We might end up doing our thing out there, man. So we can get these drills going, get these skills built up, get this muscle memory going. So we can stay, you know what I'm saying, on top of our game. And uh, as far as the muzzle break, it was a, uh, like, uh, I forgot the name of it, man. I bought that muzzle break from Academy for like 20 It's a, uh, I forgot the name of it, man. But uh, I'm gonna try to find it and put it in the description uh, whenever I think of it. But uh, yeah, man, it was, uh, it was it was it was pretty decent, man. Threaded it on pretty good, two, two, three, five, five, six muzzle break. But it had the holes in the top. It got three holes in the top. It's got two holes on each side. You know what I'm saying? It's got six. You know what I'm saying? Three on this side, three on this side, and three on top. You know what I'm saying? But they got the oval shaped ones on the side and, and the rounds on the top. So, it, like I said, it was, it was pretty. Like you can see from the video, it was real low recoil. So it wasn't a whole lot of kick to it, man. It was real easy to get on my target, man. But like I said, I just didn't have enough ammo to get a real good feel of it like I wanted to. So that's a scale of one to 10, man. I'm gonna have to get an ACI. I'm gonna have to get an ACI, Andro Corpse Industries. Uh, I'm gonna have to give them a good six, man. I'm just gonna give them a six. Because like I said, man, once I get everything, you know what I'm saying, like I like it and, and you know, get everything tuned up and dialed in, I can really use it for what it's meant to be used for as far as like self-defense, home defense, stuff like that, then uh, then I can give, I could probably do a, you know what I'm saying, a redo and get, to, get a higher grade, man, because it's always room for improvement. But I want to thank y'all for coming in, man, and, and checking with your boy Wise Guy 2015, man. And we still try to get these 500 subscribers, y'all. Go and get these 500 subscribers up for your boy so we can give away the uh, T Rex Arms uh, Sidecar Holster, Sidecar 2.0 Holster for the gun of your choice. Whoever wins, let me know what type of gun you need, what type of light you got on your gun. We can get it set up and sent to you. But uh, we got to get these 500 subscribers, man. So y'all keep on hitting that subscribe button, hit that like button, and share these videos, man, and put me out there, man, so we can get together and make better content for y'all, man. So uh, it's your boy Wise Guy 2015, man. Peace out.